Now, ever since the U.S. recently deployed one of its carrier strike groups toward North Korea, there have been a lot of talks about war. Now, while I believe this is unlikely, what I think is more likely and also more interesting is whether or not the U.S. will attempt to shoot down a North Korean test missile. So can the U.S. successfully shoot down a North Korean ballistic missile? Well, first off, we need to know a little bit more about what kind of ballistic missiles they possess. North Korea is estimated to have over 1,000 ballistic missiles of varying range. First is the Wasung-5, based on the Scud-B missile. It's a short-range ballistic missile of about 300 kilometers. North Korea is estimated to have about 200 of them. Next is the Wasun-6, based on the Scud-C. It's another short-range missile, 500 kilometer range, and about 300 in their arsenal. The Nodong is a medium range ballistic missile with a range of approximately 1,300 kilometers and 250 in their arsenal. The longer intermediate range Musadon missile has a range of 3,500 kilometers. They have over 100 in service. The KN-08 is an intercontinental ballistic missile with 9,000 kilometer range and they approximately have six in service, but it has never been publicly tested. And finally, the KN-14, another intercontinental ballistic missile with a 10,000 plus kilometer range. Again, this missile has never been tested and an unknown number are in service. Historically, most of the North Korean missile tests have been launched out into the Sea of Japan, and this is directly where the U.S. has deployed its ships. The U.S. has two weapons designed specifically to shoot down these missiles in the region. The first is the THAAD, and the second, the SM-3. The SM-3 is a ship-based interceptor missile designed to shoot down short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. The Block 1 has a range of 700 kilometers, and the newer Block 2s have a range of over 2,000 kilometers. It uses a hit-to-kill technique, meaning it carries no warhead, and destroys the threat simply by running directly into it. This technique has been compared to trying to hit a speeding bullet with another speeding bullet. However, this bullet is much more expensive, with each SM-3 missile costing over $10 million. The SM-3 has also been very successful, with 28 successful intercepts out of 34 tests. The missile is in operational use by the US and Japan, who also recently joined the US strike group in the Sea of Japan. THAAD stands for Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. It is a land-based interceptor that also uses hit-to-kill technology, with a range greater than 200 kilometers. In testing, it is performed absolutely perfectly, with 13 successful intercepts out of 13 attempts. THAAD has been deployed in South Korea and Guam, both directed at protecting the U.S. and its allies against North Korean missile attacks. Also, for much longer range missiles aimed directly at the United States, the U.S. has developed the ground base interceptor. The interceptor is a very large, multi-stage missile with a very long range of several thousands of kilometers. Once in space, it deploys the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle, which detects the target and then maneuvers to destroy it using hit-to-kill technology. It also has the ability to distinguish between the target warhead and any decoys it may deploy. The system is currently operational in Alaska and California. The ground-based interceptor has however not been as successful in testing. Out of 17 attempts, it has only been successful nine times, giving it a success rate of just over 50%. Testing is a lot different from real-world operational use. In testing, you have time to prepare the system and the crew. Equipment is checked and rechecked, and everything is pre-planned and calibrated. In the real world, you may only have a few minutes notice. If the US does attempt to shoot down a North Korean ballistic missile, it will most likely fire more than one interceptor to ensure destruction. 
When factoring all this into the equation, I believe the US stands a very good chance of shooting down one.